what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel we are going to be having a little look at arena today yeah i'm only in diamond two i'm only in diamond two so it's going to be tough to get to the big players but we're going to see how we can do and we're going to be targeting mainly brynhild teams uh because this team does work against them and you'll probably be surprised to see hoff in here obviously space and guhana push our turn meters up so we can get that extra turn Elena is set to go third so she can strip the buffs of the enemies. Then we go with Hoff to AoE health burn and Feebleness 2. Then we come in, or Feebleness 1 AoE, I do apologise. Um, and then we come in with Nita to get the nuke. Now what's interesting here is we may see very similar kind of teams when Bunny comes around. When Bunny comes around because it's going to effectively do the same kind of thing as Hoff with that extra kill or the extra turn on the kill. So you can see that Agatha has it here, but we're boosting our turn meter. Uh, Guhana goes next. We boost her to boost everyone again. Nita is quite slow. Nita is quite slow, but you can see we're faster than the enemy spaces. So we're removing the effect resistance. Yes, okay. We're getting hit by uh, Brynhild, but it's not too bad. Now we can either go one of two ways. We can either AoE Health Burn and Feebleness 1, or we can reduce the defense on Brynhild and the target's tenacity by 60%. Um, that does cast on the highest attack at the beginning of a wave. Uh, so if we AoE here, we've got Feebleness 1 on the enemy and uh, Health Burn 2 stacks as well. So Nita's going to come in now and nuke. As you can see, she did get a kill, but she didn't kill the Agatha. She didn't kill the Agatha. So, personally, I would prefer for it to tick so that she does get that extra turn. We can safely take another hit there from Brynhild. Uh, we're coming in now where we get to shield with Elena. So, not only is Elena giving us, um, you know, the, the strip, she's also giving us that shield. And, yeah, okay, Agatha has boosted up here. But, in hindsight, we can now reduce the defense of um, Brynhild, which is going to help us massively with that damage that's coming in. If that damage is coming in. Uh, let's reduce it one more time. Oh, wow. Space, you've got the kill, so that means you go again. Let's increase the speed. I don't want to be getting her the extra turn or reducing the turn meter on Brynhild because she is now dead. Um, but what's going to be interesting is when we come across someone with a very, very, very strong Brynhild. A very strong Brynhild. Let's just try this one a moment. And, you know, don't think that this could be every team because it can. If the enemy has a Nasil or... In their team, you are screwed, okay? So Nasil can counter this team hard. But everyone, a lot of people do have this kind of comp in around it. And you can see what happens here with it being on Bari. So Nita's going to nuke. Boom. She's now got an extra turn. And she can nuke again, okay? Brynhild is pretty much dead. And she is dead now. But it's just another way around it, you know? It's not the answer to it. Um, you will still need very good stats on your heroes. Uh, what's this team here? Who is this? I don't know who this is, but it's going to be a nice team. Uh, we should be a lot faster. We should still be faster. It depends if it's space, how fast the space is. Okay, not quite fast enough. Is Guhana fast? Yeah, Guhana's fast enough. It's very important Guhana is fast enough. We can now strip. We can now AoE. And then we nuke again, thanks to Feebleness 1 being on the enemy. And it's now just a, it's, it's a win. Um, so... It's a different kind of team, and it's really nice to make use of Hoff. You know, it's really nice to be making use of Hoff. Uh, we can see against a Quinlan, for instance. Obviously, Quinlan goes based on the enemy's speed. But the good thing is here is that we have only three enemies that are probably faster. And with the, the turn meter boost that we get, we are going past Quinlan. We are going past it. And, and Panda, obviously, which we spoke about already. And then it's another nuke. And it, it, it just works. It just works. But again... If you're going into a team with, with a Nasil, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. You're in big trouble. As simple as that. Um, can I... Uh, should we attack... It's pointless me attacking someone with a Nasil. Um, it's just going to be pointless because we're going to get CC'd and that's going to screw everything for us. But could we possibly remove some... I don't think it works without any of these heroes. It has to be Space. It has to be Guhana. It has to be Elena. I mean, you could possibly go for Gilliman. Um, but the thing with that is we, we kind of do need the shield as well that Elena provides because we do get low on health. We do get low on health if it's a very strong Brynhild. Uh, let's just try and find one quickly. Um, uh, bum, bum, bum. This Joker has a very strong 
Brynhild. So this will be interesting. Also a Santa E3, Queen on E4. Now this is a very, very strong Brynhild. Jokar is a, is a good player. I know Jokar for a while. Are we going to have the stats to do this? We'll find out. The good thing here is, is that Quinlan does have the Hunter's Mark on him. Because he's the highest attack. He's the highest attack. Which means that Nita will nuke him. But you can see we're taking a lot of damage. We're taking a lot of damage. And Nita's going to get an extra turn now. And she's going to get another extra turn. Because, oh, no she's not. Not yet. Not yet. Because Agatha survived. Okay, um, we need to play this careful. So now we can buff, oh, goodness me, reduce the defense and take the hit to clear off Hypnotize. Oh, he's looking close. Okay, we're, gonna, we're, we're good, right? We're good. We're good. I think we're good. We get a heal here. And then we get to trigger again, the poison, and it's a kill. So, you know, killing a very strong Brynhild there. Um, killing a very strong Brynhild. Who else can we find? Who else can we find? Uh, let's, let's refresh. Harma. <laughs> okay. Now, Harma is crazy strong. Harma is crazy strong. I don't think we'll beat this. Harma is crazy, crazy strong. Um, has a really nice team here. If the turns work for us, if the turn meter works for us, which is looking like it does, looking like it does, but we'll just see what happens because the issue is here is that Agatha is the highest attack. And you can see this Brynhild is doing a lot of damage already. It's doing a lot of damage already. Yeah, no, it's not going to work. Panda did get a turn. He survived. Which means, it, as you can see, it won't work against every team. But if I had the stats, would it? I don't know. Harma... It's very whaley, you know, super strong account. Super, super strong account. Let's go on to Kazdon here. Similar kind of lineup, just no Agatha in it. Um, and it should work beautifully here. I mean, maybe if we went in with, rather than the AoE. No, because Panda is still going to cleanse the defense down on Brynhild. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... I mean, this is a win, but... It's beating... You know, Brynhild is still meta. Brynhild is still amazing. Um, if we were strong enough to kill... Aulin or Paulin, then it would have been a different story. Maybe, maybe. But again, that Brynhild was dealing a ton of damage. Hmm. Is there anything I could switch? I don't think so. We need Hoff for that extra kill on the turn. Um... That made a difference. And the defense down when it's just Brynhild left. We need Elena for the strip. We need space and Guhana for the turn meter boost. And the attack up one for Nita. Maybe if I built Nita faster. It would be enough to remove Guhana. And bring in say, like someone like Nidrog. Possibly. Um, but it's, it's a very strong team. Who else here has Brynhild? Lucky Partoy. Has Nita as well, isn't it? Has Nita as well, isn't it? Um, anyone else we can try? K coach in Diamond. But it's only an E2 uh, uh, Brynhild. But again, it really does depend on, on the stats of the, of the player. Also, the, the the aura as well. The aura can play a huge part. And you can see, it's a, is that a legend? There's a green colorblind, sir. So. I think it's a legend, Leech. She's nearly dead there. Nearly dead there. Let's make sure she does. She's going to get the shield, though. But it's okay, because we get a little bit of a heal as well. 
Um, let's put defense down on that Brynhild. And try and remove some of the shield on this Agatha now to get the to get the kill on her. The poisons should be enough there. There we go. So now Agatha gets another turn. We boost and heal again. And he, you can see why it works, right? You can see why it works. It's just like, you know, if you have these heroes, you can use a team very similar. But again, I will say, you're going to struggle big time against CC heroes. It's still nice, however, to, to be able to push through these Brynhild teams without using a Brynhild yourself. Without using a Brynhild yourself. Um, who else here? We're close to... Let's just quickly... Look, see, okay, so when the seal is here, just watch what happens. It's obvious what's going to happen. We're going to get... We're going to get frozen. We're going to lose. Um, there we go. Guhana did resist, but it's still not going to be enough. And it's messed up our turn. Our turn meters. Um, so it's, it's game over. Everyone's getting a turn. So you can see why that happens. Um, but if we were to remove someone, I mean, I don't really want to remove Hoff. I don't really want to remove Hoff. But in a team like this, if we said, right, okay, we'll bring uh, Paul in. Space should resist. She does, because she has high effect, uh, effect resistance anyway. Um, but what does this do for our team? Like, is it going to be enough to get a nuke in without that extra turn? And also missing that feebleness. It is... It is, but it's not ideal. It's not ideal. So there's the kill. There's the win on that. But, you know, we want, we really want a team that can beat everything. And can't, Brynhild kind of is that team. You know, it's the meta. It's the meta that everyone's using. It is so, so strong. And what, can, what, can I quickly push? No, no. We'll just refresh this. Who can we fight here now? Pongo with an E5, Brynhild. However, I don't know how strong this Brynhild is. Where's Hoff? Hoff is here. Um, let's just have a look at the stats of this. 42,000 defense. Effect resistance 127. Uh, not a lot of crit rate. Not a lot of crit rate. Needs more crit rate, Pongo. You want to be getting that damage in against me. So who was the highest attack? I don't know who the highest attack was, but you can see Nita's just got an extra two turns. An extra two turns. Agatha should die. Yeah, there you go. So, you know, I like the team. Let me know what you think of the team. Is it nice to see Hoff being used in arena um, at high level? Fire Frost, let's attack this guy. Quinlan, Brynhild, Space, Agatha, Pauline. Very nice team. Would dominate a lot of other teams. You can see he's nearly on the turn there. So close. So close. And that's why it's important we do have fast heroes as well. Because without them, we're buggered. We're buggered. This uh, Brynhild hits quite nasty. This Brynhild hits quite nasty. Uh, he's got defense reduction there. What's the crit rate? Yeah, see, high crit rate. That's the difference high crit rate makes. High crit rate, high crit damage. You can really hurt your team a lot. But it does work against that one. Um, wait, who was that? That was Fire Frost, right? Yeah, Impact. Let's have a look at this one. Let's test out this Brynhild. What's the stats on it? 50,000 defense. That's a lot. Ooh, 90% crit rate. 230. These have got nice stats. 108% effect. These are nice stats. Quite a lot of you may have been able to. I don't know. Well, that's a that's big stats. What's the damage going to be like? Two hundred fifteen thousand. Who has that? Lucifer's going to be dead? We get an extra turn. We're going to get another extra turn. And it, you know, it's very nice. We get the shield now. We get the defense down, and now that Brynhild is rendered useless. Figure it again. Heal. And that should now be game over. There we go. So yeah. It does work. 
it does work. It's a strong team. It's a strong team. Matissa here with an E5, Brynhild. Um, let's have a quick go on this one. It has Mamek as well. But Mamek doesn't provide many problems for us because we do have um, Elena to strip that as well. And we should be fast enough to, to nuke him down early on. To nuke him down early on. Am I going to eat my words? No, I don't know. I don't know. Am I going to eat my words? Here comes the AoE. And we're taking damage. What is the Brynhild stats on this? 48, 74. Yeah, it's not enough. Not enough. So now it's Mamak who has it. And he should die. There we go. Hey. It's very strong. It's very, very strong. Everything works well together in this team. Let's kill that Pauline. And it's a win. So yeah. That's the team, guys. There was some strong players there. Can we see anyone else who's even stronger at the moment? Um, Tim beats me on speed, I believe. Tim beats me on speed? I think. Let's try. It may even be stats. No, he's not beating me on speed. It must just be the stats. Let's try this, Tim. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't looking good. Yeah, there you go. So, Pauline did survive. You know, did we did eat the apple, but we just couldn't do enough damage to get rid of that Pauline. If we could have, if we could have, it would have been a different story. So, I just need to get better attack. And, you know, this is always going to be a... Regardless of what it is, it's always going to be a stat check in any scenario on PvP. Um, I just want to attack Jokar again because he does have a nice arena team and his Brynhild is strong. I just, you know, as well as E3, Santa, E2, Pauline. Guhan is nice as well to cleanse that health burn. And see, it's it's the extra turn, and then the extra turn again that helps us kill that poor limp. Oh boy, you need. Ooh, wait, now I'm asleep as well. I think this loses now. Does this lose now? I believe it does. Oh, the leech saves me. The shield. The turn meter boost. Okay, wow. So <laughs> that's how good Nita is as well. But a very different kind of battle there against Jokar. Very different kind of battle there. Um, let's try it on Raya. And it's probably be my last one. Probably be my last one, but we'll see. But I mean, the arena is just covered in these teams, right? Everyone's got a Brynhild now. Ooh. Who's the highest attack? Must be his on ya. Yeah, okay, so the extra turn. And then another nuke. Yeah, okay. So that was that. Um, Who was the other one here? Was it Matissa? No, Matissa got beat. K-Coach. And Pongo again. Let's... I don't think we've attacked K-Coach. So K-Coach... Have I attacked K-Coach? I'm unsure. Oh, early buffs there. Super fast. So we get to strip all of them. The one thing that is annoying with that is is that the uh, defense down goes off of Agatha, which isn't huge. Isn't huge because we still do get that feebleness one in, which helps a lot. See, we're low damage. We're low da uh, low health. Sorry, on our Nita. Jeez, how can I forget her name? There, see, I did that. If I went for Agatha, that probably would have been a better idea because I just killed, I just killed my Nita, and that could mean that we lose. It should mean that we lose. Or the poison's going to be enough. Wait, have I attacked K Coach? I feel like we've been in this situation before. So that's a loss. I need to attack this again now. I need to attack this again now. Uh, and play a little differently. 
Let's keep my Nita alive. Also, let me just check the crit rate on this Rinhild. 86% crit rate. Okay. So here comes a strip. Yeah, that's some nasty hits from Brynhild. Will shield. Okay, we'll take the hit again to clear hypnotize. And she has got defense down now, so it doesn't hurt quite as much. Yeah. Alright. So it just it's close. It's close. We did attack Pongo. Let's do one more refresh here if we can find. Let's try Mystic Queen's Brynhild. I, d I think her sp if her space is faster than mine, it's a no win. But I hope it isn't so that we can test it. Just to see if how you know if we can beat her Brynhild. The space is just too fast. But it may be okay. Let's have a look at the stats. 91%, 254... 75,000, that's because of the defense up. Okay, let's have a little look. Are we going to be fast enough for Guhana? We are. So we should get our turns. We should get our turns. That did hit hard there from that Brynhild. Space is the fastest attack, means we get an extra turn. Hmm. Yeah, okay. She's low damage. In fact, in fact, I think it's a win. Even though the space was faster, which is interesting. Even though the space was faster, still a win. So that's nice. You know, this is a strong team. It's a very strong team. We didn't heal. We're just going to go for the hits. Still, she's healing up from our hits. So we need to be careful of how we approach it. But it should kill. Oh, close. We won't reduce the turn meter. So we just need a nuke, right? Yeah, next turn, next of Brynhild's turn, it should be a kill. Why do I keep reducing the turn meter? I'm stupid, that's why. You see the healing up, this is why Brynhild is so strong. So there we go. That is the win there as well against Mystic Queen, who does have a very good arena team. A very good arena team. Who else can we target here quickly? I haven't attacked Phoenix, but this will be the last one. Phoenix Mage will be the last one. Another strong team. All right, let's try this one out. Oh, Pauline survives. Pauline survives, which means it's a loss. If Pauline survives, we're buggered. There you go. That's what happens. All right, so that's that for that video. But you can see there that, you know, the team's working and um, it's doing a good job against those other enemies. Um, if Nita was E5, Pauline would probably be dying. Maybe. I can't guarantee it because I haven't, you know, I haven't got an E5 one. So, yeah. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Have a fantastic day, evening, wherever you are.